If you ever needed any ex any any explanation, any proof of Monique's poetic genius, if you ever needed anything to indicate how this woman can dig deep, deep within the dark recesses of a scabrous soul and 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 re and and regurgitate, redirect, reiterate, direct. A, a retort, a repost that is so beautifully vile and concupiscent. Oh, this is it. Ladies and gentlemen, last week, as you know, Monique's uh, eagerly anticipated and awaited appearance on Club Shay Shay. Um, when it dropped, it was an absolute Bomb burner, bomb, a bomb burner, a barn burner, and a bomb burner. This woman, this brave spirit did not hold back. She vented. She went at celebrities, including Kevin Hart, uh, Tiffany Haddish, D.L. Hughley, and more. And... She even dared to to bring up and to approach the names of of, of the of the of the pantheon gods of Oprah, Tyler Perry. I mean, she just accused them of of blackballing her, of basically pulling a McCarthy on her in the industry. Now, according to her, she has a recording. She says of Tyler Perry admitting that he was the one, in fact, responsible for uh, uh, perhaps uh, uh, generating a rumor or some type of inclination that she was sometimes difficult to work with. Uh, and as for Ms. Winfrey, wow, she, she said she has uh, purloined, uh, 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 stolen at least two movies from her. And even before the interview even was released, her absolutely, well, correctly drawing parallels and juxtapositions between Monique and Cat Williams, who initially explosive club Shay Shay appearance went, <laughs> well, wait, it gets more. So for this reason, her fans were overjoyed uh, to learn that she had been uh, uh, that she would be rather joining Cat, uh, Cat Williams on his Dark Matter tour. And at one point in the interview, she uh, suggested that uh, Cat Williams was uh, speaking the truth during his, uh, and, uh, his uh, particular interview and called him her, quote, fraternal twin brother amid the, the tour uh, announcement and, and, uh, declaration. And so far, the tour has been a monstrous success. Supporters out in force for Monique. Now, in one particular clip, <laughs> she's, uh, she's getting on stage, I believe in the Nutmeg State in Connecticut, on her first night, and where she was met with a thunderous this, this cavalcade, this cataclysm of applause and approbation on the part of the, of the, of the audience. And almost the, the entire audience stood in standing ovation uh, to show what amounts to absolute love to Monique. Uh, and and she, was, she was awestruck, dumbstruck. She couldn't believe it. And during a, 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 another a, a portion of this, she issued a... Well, shall we say a, 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 a kind of an apologia, a pseudo apologia? A, 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 a well, uh, you be this way. She she uh, she gave an apology of sorts to those she called on, including Oprah and uh, Tyler Perry, Stephen A. Smith, uh, Greg Mathis, and I'm going to try my best. I'm not even. I'm not even going to say this. I'm going to have you go. And look this up because this is a family show. And even though I don't particularly like this particular type of language, I nonetheless find it hysterically funny <laughs> because I am likewise demented. She said, quote, 
I want to apologize for telling y'all to uh, pleasure her. Perhaps uh, channeling your philatrix aspect. And she said, I, I want to apologize for saying that you can uh, pleasure a me of sorts. I had to tell, <laughs> because I forgot to tell you to, uh, shall we say, um, perhaps, and please, if there's any children around, please, perhaps, um, uh, serviced or attend to uh, her theoretical scrotal accoutrement as well. And I'll just leave it at that. I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to spend too, too much time on that. Please, this is a family show. Uh, you can go and read this yourself. Just go and you can find this for yourself. But what it does, what it does in fact, I'll put a reference to where you can get the quote. Okay, I'll let you get a reference. But what it does is it shows you how the audience recognizes the fact that she has been maligned. She has been herself excoriated. She has been subjected to industry um, contamination, blackballing, libel, slander, defamation. Intentional torturous interference with an ongoing visit. You name it. She may have a veritable panoply of legal uh, issues at her disposal. Took it upon herself to act as a proud, not as a proud black woman or proud black African American or proud American or whatever, but somebody who just stones the culione, as she makes reference to in, in her entreaty uh, to those during the apologia. And again, I, I don't want to get it, but I will... Eh, Anyway, people recognize, they love people who fight back. And I love this. Monique, excellent. I will have a link to where you can find this particular subject matter. I want you to remember, my friends, stick up for yourself. Demand not, not respect, but you were to be treated with dignity. You are a valid and a cherished human being and you deserve everything. And when people like Kat and Monique stand up to industry leviathans, they act as an inspiration. I think I've said enough. I think I've said enough. Other than please like the video, subscribe to the channel. And please, dear friends, put down your thoughts and comments. What do you think about this? And comment as you see fit.